as we, if we're paying close attention from yesterday to today, it is a slightly quite different service. It is the great paraclesis. Uh, and so this is the other service that is done traditionally during these first 15 days of August. That is, um, changes. It goes from the small to the great and alternates each day. We are filled with even more hymns to ponder and contemplate for our life and how, again, the Virgin Mary assists us. And the first hymn that was chanted in the service of the canon uh, in Ode 1, <clears throat> Relentless onslaughts of distressing troubles now disquiet me, disquiet my humble soul, and the gloomy clouds of tribulation shroud my heart. But since you are, O Bride of God, Theotokos and Mother, of a divine pre-eternal light, shine on me the light that is full of joy. And there's many other hymns like that where we hear about <clears throat> and we acknowledge all the, the troubles that we're facing, how it disturbs our soul, uh, even to the point of gloomy clouds of tribulation. I mean, those are heavy words. And the church tells us again that we do not sugarcoat the things that we face. And another hymn speaks about the dizzying cares of life surround me now like the bees round a honeycomb, O virgin. And being seized of my heart up your maiden, they storily sting it with darts of adversities. Oh, I wish to find in you a defender and helper and rescuer. <clears throat> so again, we are told by the church, we acknowledge these, these challenges in our life. And yet, the church tells us uh, to not despair. And we hear also in today's gospel that is connected to the great Paraclesis, that very well-known passage of the sisters Mary and Martha, <clears throat> and how Martha is overcome by anxiousness because she is alone preparing to serve the master while her sister Mary sits at the feet of the Lord. And it is not the Mary the Theotokos, it's the other Mary the sister, uh, sister of Lazarus. But again, it is the same theme that oh, these other hymns are speaking to. And that is, yes, we get caught up with anxieties and worries and cares, but as the Lord says, to be like Mary, to focus on that one thing needful, and that is him. And that is what we're called to do. Every day of our life is to focus on the Lord, his mother, to reorient our gaze upon them. The church is every day, every week, trying to reconnect us back to the Lord and his mother so that these cares, these tribulations do not overwhelm us. And we are like Peter in that respect where we take our eyes off the Lord and we start to sink in the water, we start to sink in our despair. So let us, my brothers and sisters, find comfort in these hymns, knowing that the mother of God is there to be our defender and helper and rescuer and to keep our focus on her and her son. God bless you all. And we continue our services to the Holy Theotokos tomorrow evening at six o'clock, Thursday morning again at nine, and then Friday morning. Again, we have the great feast day of the Transfiguration, Divine Liturgy at 9.30, preceded by the Orthros. And then Friday evening, again, the small Paraclesis at 6 o'clock. God bless you, and may the Panagia keep you always in her loving care. Thank you.